Hello and welcome. So in today's Grand Sismo 7 video, we are going to be mid busting. Yes, when you reach a stage in Grand Sismo 7 where you start money grinding and you start doing the same race over and over and over again. We need new races Grand Sismo, please, please. So when you reach that stage, you start thinking to yourself, hey, I wonder what would happen if I did this, for example, or I did that. That is exactly what we are covering today. So, if you are looking for more Grand Turismo 7 content, don't forget, leave a like and subscribe. Let's carry on with the video. So, for the race we are doing, we are doing the 30 minutes around Le Mans. This is a 700pp event, if I'm not mistaken. So, the first thing we are doing, how much time can we rack up in penalties in a single lap? So starting off, we have 26 seconds already. That's a good start. Now I'm expecting to get somewhere about a minute. So we're already at 26 seconds and this was just from cutting the first chicane like at the finish line. That was that. Then, 46 seconds like another 20 seconds got added on from just driving straight through the first turn now honestly i'm trying to run wide you actually see i go a little bit too wide and actually get reset yeah that was uh not good but it actually gave me a chance to cut the corner again and we're actually gonna get another penalty i think so down the straight, you can't go 52 seconds already. 52 seconds. That is wow. Okay, down the straight now, you can't really get a penalty from this because even if you try banging against the walls, then it doesn't really give you any barrier collision penalties or anything. So what we did was just skip the skip the turn, skip the chicane. Didn't really work out as I was just full body slammed a wall. So we are now over minutes in the penalty time so we are gonna be basically going nowhere our car is it's just gonna stop because of how long we're gonna have to wait because of this penalty as you see we are still chugging along down the straights we are in a pagani hawaira so the car is not slow whatsoever as you see we cut over once again really held that so much better than the first turn and you see bam another 15 sec 70 i caught i'm bad at maths one minute 20 seconds now on the clock okay you see we actually come up i tried to cut the corner there somehow i missed it i actually thought about going back i was like nah there's, there's no point plus so it wasn't even gonna give me that big of a penalty but if I could perfect a run, then we could actually see us getting a very high penalty. Now there are only a few more chances for us to get some penalties added on. So if we just now cut the corners slightly that are coming up, this corner loves giving penalties. Even when you don't cut it, you might get a penalty. It's very buggy. so. Just be careful when taking that corner. So, it only added a half a second penalty, so I'm like, you know what, we need to cut the corner. Let's see how much it's gonna be added right now. As you can see, across the penalty zone, it looked like three second penalty added. And now we just sit and wait for the next minute and see how many positions we drop. Cause currently we have a lead of 38 seconds and that is actually increasing as we're going so let's just wait and see how many positions we actually drop now when we speed it up we see that the first overtake actually happened when we were almost halfway done with our penalty so moved off to the side of the track let the other vehicles come without hitting us off the circuit and you can see we actually drop all the way down to 17th position now as we get to the end of our race, we are in first position and we have a lead of 49 seconds. So that lead should actually start increasing and I see that we have less than a minute left on the clock. So my thing is, 
can you just sit at the start finish line and just wait until the timer goes and then cross the line instead of now having to go all the way around and come back so that's exactly what we're doing now now what i wanted to focus on is i'm looking okay we have like 30 seconds left of the race now the gap between us and second place is 52 seconds this should be an easy dub we don't have to stress about anything because we are still gonna get the win nonetheless but it's still this nerve-wracking feeling if you watch the minimap you see the cars are coming at full speed and you're sitting there just waiting what if something goes wrong what if you mess up your calculations we see that there are cars actually in the pit lane so that means the vehicles were there they were at the finish line so the 50 something second lead we had it got finished real quick so you see we finished the race in 30 minutes one second because we were already at the finish line so for the next question that we are going to be answering we are going to be seeing can you finish this race without refueling now with this race you gotta keep in mind there is the torrential rain that can occur the weather does change so that means i'm going to be running on one set of tires no refueling so even if it comes pouring down i have to stay out and just finish the race can it be done so the car that i have chosen is the mazda rx7 with the 787b engine swap I chose this car because it is extremely economical so I knew I had the best chance of making it around the circuit for the entire 30 minutes without having to go in and refuel so my main concern was weather and my tires so I had racing odds on so I knew okay racing hard tires will last me all the way so it was more on if it rains how badly am I gonna struggle so I knew I had to push it as hard as possible to get to the front and just create a big lead because once the AI goes in puts on intermediates or heavy wet tires and they come out they are gonna be a whole lot faster than me who was on racing odds in wet conditions so then we cross the line to finish lap one two three four and now on lap 6 is where we ran into an issue it began to rain and it came down in buckets so the car actually could not stop we went square into a barrier and that basically just destroyed our front end motor we had no power but at least we had a 2 minute lead over second place so I knew by the time the track dries up it should be dropped down to maybe a 40 second gap so there was really nothing to stress about so we were actually able to finish the race with four percent of fuel left we actually just did the mustang and it spun out but we crossed the line with four percent of fuel so if you don't want to refuel or you don't want to make any pit stops the 787B swapped Mazda RX-7 is your go to answer. Now, can you do this race in an electric vehicle? Now, I made a whole separate video on electric vehicles and how they are terrible at endurance races because you can't adjust the fuel map on it. It's just constant power all the time and there's no real adjustment. So, when you want to use an electric vehicle in these races, then you have to put every single lap. You cannot miss a lap, otherwise your car will stop and that is your race over. So you basically build a lead, lose a lead, build a lead, lose a lead. And then over time, that does eventually run out and you just start building a lead. But it is time consuming keep having to run into the pits it is a bit much but you can get it done why i wanted to put the electric one after the mazda because it's complete opposites with the mazda you didn't have to 
refuel at all you didn't have to stop whereas the porsche you you had to stop every lap there was no way of avoiding it so it is honestly two polar opposites so yeah that's all the myths that i had for the 30 minutes around le mans if you want me to do a different event a different track anything let me know i'm open to constant ideas if you are still watching to this point thank you so much it really does mean a lot and yeah don't forget leave a like subscribe for more crunches most of content and i'll see you in the next one peace